Hey, what's good, y'all? What it do? Welcome back to Get Tactical. I'm your host, DZ. All right, y'all, real quick, before we even hop into the video, I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and drop a like on this thing, share it. You already know my usual spiel. Tell your friends and tell your mama. Uh, today, we got a little bit different topic than what I usually talk about, and it's a non-lethal self-defense option, okay? We got a stun gun and flashlight, okay, by Ruger. Perfect little self-defense item that's non-lethal, right? And I know some of my followers don't like guns, right? And that's okay. If you don't like guns, that's, that's fine. But there's other alternatives you guys can have to protect yourself. Enough of me talking. Let me go ahead and get into this real quick. All right, guys. So this is how your Ruger flashlight looks outside of the box, right? Right away as I'm holding it, it does kind of feel a little slick, right? What I mean by slick, you know, slippery. Um, right here, it does have a little bit of texture, but all up in here, you know, if you got lotion on, you know, uh, today I do got lotion, my hands ain't ashy, right? But um, even with that being said, I don't have a lot of lotion on and it's still pretty slick. You know, I think that's probably why they gave you this hand loop. You can wrap it around your hand. Um, ladies, you can keep this in the purse, have this armed around your hand or you're, while you're walking at night, you know, have this loop wrapped around your hand as you know as you're using the flashlight but right away that's the only downside I, I don't like how slick it is it's super slick and ladies you know I know you guys usually wear a lot more different scented perfumes and lotion things of that nature um, so just go to think about that when you're using this okay uh, you do get instructions it tells you how to use this so there's three settings right here for your flashlight and in order for you to work it you got to slide the setting up right to the middle that's high right there and then you got to slide it back down to the first one then you slide it up again then that's low right then you do it one more time and then you get the strobe effect right that splash is uh it's kind of i'm not gonna lie it's kind of weak um but the strobe definitely adds a nice touch all right, and as you can see, that glows in the dark. So that way, if you're using it at night, you know, you can see it. Now, this is the business end of the taser, the meats and the potatoes, all right? So it's a metal prong, right? And that does feel a little jagged. So I guess if you really needed to, you know, somebody's running up on you, you can hold it in your hand, kind <clears> of <throat> jab them up with that. That really wouldn't feel good. I can picture that. And right here, oh yeah, that's a little sharp. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. One sec. You guys see that? It's a little sharp on those edges, you know? So, that's just that. All right, and if you want to use your taser, actually turn it on. All right, so with the charger that it comes with, and it also comes with the holster in the case, right? You're going to plug your charger into here. And then you know let it charge i believe they say it has to charge uh for 12 hours for the first time and then after that four to five hours but anyway whenever it's done charging that red light will turn off so as soon as you plug it in connect it to charge the red light will turn on and when it's done being charged the light will turn off all right now i don't know if you can see you do have an on and off right here little switch right now it's in the off position i'm going to turn it on all right and then you have to slide this lever all the way to the top. Bam, when you see red, you're dead, right? It's turning red and then you just press the button. You know, somebody running up on you, you can uh, set off 4th of July, spark the shit out they ass, you know? Oh damn, okay, right here, look. I already got some tape peeling off, and this is brand new out the box. Now, I'm not going to make a big deal about this because I got it on sale, right? Originally, the price was $24.99, but that's the sale price, $18.78. And I seen that, I'm like, you know what? Why not grab this, do a quick video, you know, for a non-lethal, non-lethal self-defense option, you know? And this is perfect for somewhere like the office, you know, ladies, if you're going on a jog at night. You know, or just to have something extra in your purse. You know, I thought, hey, this is a good idea. And for twenty-four bucks, twenty-four ninety-nine, that's not bad either, right? But how effective is it? 
Mm, I guess we won't find that out, right? Because I'm not shocking myself. <laughs> you know, actually, you know what? I'm gonna say it here, guys. If I get a thousand likes on this video, y'all see me do a, uh, I'll shock my arm or something on my hand just to see how effective it is. Or unless one of you guys want to volunteer to be shocked, I'll do that too. You know what I mean? So it does have a pain rating on here, okay? Inside of your package, you're also going to get paperwork. This tells you how to operate it. Basically instructions, but like I said, real men don't read instructions. They just build it, like me, right? You got your instructions on how to use it, yada, yada, yada. But it also shows you how powerful and how strong this is, okay? So subjects report uh, feeling pain around 0.5. I don't even know the measurement rating that is. I don't know what that is, right? But as you can see, 0 0.5 is down here. That's on level two, right? And this model has a level three rating. So in level three rating, it says subjects report feeling intolerable pain. So supposedly this delivers intolerable pain. And of course, obviously you guys have to make sure that it's fully charged and um, it's operating right, things of that nature, okay? Now, for those of you who don't read the instructions, okay, like myself, if you go ahead and turn this on and you go zap, 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 zap it away, you hold it for longer than one second, Ruger actually says that you default on your warranty, right? Because they recommend if you're going to test it out, at least do for one second, right? If you sit there and hold it, right, on a test, I guess a test, uh, test fire, Right. If you go ahead and hold it on a test fire, you can actually damage the unit. If you want to test it, make sure you test it for no longer than one second. All right. As you guys can see, I took a little, I zapped it and I took a break, zapped it and I took another break. I'm not going to keep zapping it because I don't want to mess this thing up. You know, I still want to test it out someday. You know, that's that's a good little option right there. Okay. You don't feel like or if, if you're in a place you can't have your gun on you, like the office, right? You're just coming out of the gym or, you know, maybe you got to take an elevator. You know, you're in a tight, closed space. You know what I mean? You're going for a walk at night. Things like that. You don't want to bring your firearm with you, you know. That could be perfect just to have something like this. So one downside I would say to having this, um, obviously, you got to get close to use it, right? And distance equals time. Me, myself, that's why I like guns, right? You know, I can get my distance, and if you're trying to charge at me still, I can still put rounds on you from a distance, right? Um, this, you have to actually get close and make contact, right? Z -z 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 get close up on somebody to touch them. And if they have a knife or worse, or if it's multiple people, you don't want to get too close. Guys, the only thing left I would say is you need to see how powerful this is if you're going to be having this on you as a self-defense tool. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a video out there from the website, you know, that actually demonstrates how effective and how powerful it is. But before you start carrying it, you need to do more research. You know, what is this going to do to someone? Um, because it also, within the brochure, has some legal restrictions. Possession or use of this product may be prohibited in some jurisdictions. If, if unsure, contact your local law enforcement agency yada 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 make sure you guys check your local state laws to make sure you're able to have this in the first place if they're selling in your, in your state most likely yes you guys can buy it but you have to be over 18 by buying this product you guys accept all the legal terms and everything like that yada 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 so make sure you guys are crossing your t's dotting your i's but for sure that's the only that's the only thing i would say left is just you need to figure out how powerful this is because you don't want to having your mind a made up assumption that, oh, this is gonna be the end all be all. All I gotta do is just tap them in the armpit or tap them in the neck and then they're done and then they're gonna go down. That always doesn't happen like that. So this is important. I feel like everybody should hear this, especially for non-lethal. No personal safety product, including this product right here, can guarantee your safety in the event of an attack. All right? So that just goes to show you, you know, they're covering their ass, you know, because sometimes not everything works. You know, what if you make contact with two prongs, but what if you have to make contact with the whole prong? You know, or what if they're wearing clothing? You know, or what if they're sweaty? Or what if this dies? You know, malfunctions, you know, shit like that. That just goes to show you, you need to, you need to think that through.
right? Don't just buy this and think you're good. Overall, guys, I think this thing is pretty cool. It's something different for sure. Um, but like I said, non-lethal self-defense, you're limited to a few things, right? They got pepper spray that's out there. Uh, I believe pepper spray works. I want to try that. I would try that. For sure, I would try that on camera. Record that for my channel just to see how powerful that is. Um, you know, and I've actually spoke to a coworker of mine, a buddy. Shout out to my boy Boston if you're watching this. Uh, he was telling me that he got pepper sprayed. I um, mean, he said that was pretty bad. But, and I asked him, you know, if you were adrenalized, do you think that you can fight through that? He said yes. He thinks that, you know, if somebody was adrenalized, they could possibly fight through it. Um, and he said he got tasered before, right? And I asked him the same question. You know, if you were adrenalized or if you were angry or something like that, do you think that you could fight through being tased? He said no. Right, that actually shuts down your whole body. Granted, the type of taser that he got hit with, um, it was way more powerful than this. You know, it's the actual like police taser guns. And he was telling me this story when he was in the military. So um, yeah, he said complete, you know, muscle lock up, you fall down, you know, and he said extreme, excruciating pain, you know what I mean? So um, that's one thing right there you gotta think about. Now this, I don't know how powerful this will be, but like I said, if you guys run it up, Give me a thousand likes on this thing share it tell your friends i'll try it you know i'll try it right here back of the back of the hand you know what i mean or arm i can't go too crazy because you know i still gotta work for a living y'all motherfuckers ain't finna pay my bills shit but um no i like it you know it's a sleek design not too bad on the price the only thing i would say is just right in here it gets super slick i could i can i can go up and down you guys can't tell but i could yeah, you see how slick that is sliding in my hand? That don't that don't sit too well with me, all right? But let's just say, you know, you needed to use this and your battery dies. This is still sharp if you needed to. Just by doing that, I feel it in my hand. But imagine right here to the side of the face, oh, or to the top of the head. Yeah, that'll definitely back somebody up. And if they don't, keep... <clears throat> This is pretty cool though, guys. If you like it, check it out. It's on Ruger's website, you know, they got it. And if you guys enjoy seeing videos like this, comment down below. Let me know if I should get some more non-lethal self-defense options up here. I mentioned pepper spray, and I would actually do a demonstration of pepper spray, but I need the views up there. I'm not just gonna spray myself for no reason. You know what I mean? I need y'all commenting on what you wanna see. And guys, that's it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and drop a like. Go ahead and share it. Tell your friends and tell your family. I got a lot more good videos coming up. So don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and if you need to, get tactical.